video, movie, film. What's up guys? It's your girl Ace Wizzle. I am back with another video. Um, this time we are moving all the way from the west. No more America, no more England. We are moving down and into an amazing place. And we are going to be talking about... Amazing. Egyptian film and, um, directors. That's the one. Egyptian film and directors. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna start all the way back in 1895 with the Lumiere Cinematograph. This was invented by Louis Lumiere and Jules Carpentier, and this allowed films to be projected to large audiences and allowed them to be shot anywhere and it was used in the thing that had to be cranked by hand. The earliest film projection in, e proje projection, proje projection in Egypt was November 15th in 1896 at the Tucson Exchange in Alexandria. <coughs> the first cinema <laughs> finally opened in 1897, the year after. In 1925, the first major film production was created, and it was called The Miser, Corporation for Dramatic Arts and Film. The Miser Corporation. The Miser Corporation for Dramatic Arts and Film. <laughs> this was the largest cinema in Egypt, Africa, and the Middle East when it started, and it still is today. Ten years later, in 1935, the Miser Corporation inaugurated the first full film studio modeled after Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Since cinematographs and kinematographs came from America and France, Egyptian films began as models of these cultures' films and gradually began developing to incorporate Egyptian culture into them. Togo Mizrahi. Togo Mizrahi! Mizrahi. Togo Mizrahi. Togo Mizrahi! An Alexandria-born Italian Jew, Mizrahi lived from 1901 to 1986 and was tolerant of many religions. He had a diploma in commerce, and then he went to study in France to get a PhD in economics. But later he began in filmmaking by Newsreel. He founded the Egyptian Films Company to create feature films. Mizrahi's first film, The Abyss, premiered in Alexandria in 1930 and later was renamed Cocaine when it was released in Cairo a year later in 1931. Cocaine? Why did they name it Cocaine? <laughs> Mizrahi produced, directed, acted, edited, designed the set, and wrote the script for this film. So that's like, he did everything for it. Mizrahi also made a famous Egyptian singer and actress, Lila Murad, a legendary figure by presenting her in a new light, moving her from stage, acting and singing, to theater, like movie, video, film. <sighs> Mizrahi's first three films tackled social issues, and then he had a whole genre swap and started making comedies. <laughs> the most famous theater duet of the time, Fazi and Ehesane Ghazayirli, um, was hired by Mizrahi to act in his first comic film, The Two Delegates, and it was a huge success. Making nine films with another famous comic actor, Ali al Kessar, allowed Mizrahi to capitalize on his fame. In 1939, he moved to studio to Cairo and kept the old one too. Both were sequestered and liquidated in the 1960s. In 1948, Mizrahi left Egypt for Rome, and there he died in... 1986, in Rome. Throughout his life, Mizrahi directed 32 Egyptian films, 4 Greek films, and he produced 8 films directed by up-and-comers. He was best known for his film, The Abyss. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Video. Movie. Film.